Hello students, this is Shraddha Tone from Computer Engineering Department. So in this lecture, we will see the block diagram of 8051 microcontrollers. So the, this uh, figure shows the internal block diagram of 8051 microcontroller. So it consists of central processing unit, two kinds of memory sections, data memory, RAM, and program memory, ROM. Then input output ports and control logic needed for timer or counter. After that, serial port and interrupt functions. So you can see the all blocks on this block diagram. So these elements communicate through an 8-bit data bus which runs throughout the chip referred as internal data bus. So this is the internal data bus and this bus is buffered to the outside world through an input output port when memory or input output expansion is desired. So we will see the function of each and every block of this microcontroller. First is central processing unit. What central processing unit will do? It monitors and control all the operations that are performed by the microcontrollers. And the CPU of 8051, CPU of 8051 consists of 8-bit arithmetic and logic unit which associated registers like A, B, PSW, SP, the 16-bit program counter and data pointer registers. Along with this register, it has a set of special function registers and control unit. Now, the next is ROM. A code of 4K memory is incorporated as on-chip ROM in 8051 microcontroller. The 8051 ROM is a non-volatile memory, meaning that its contents cannot be altered. Third unit is RAM. The 8051 microcontroller is composed of 128 bytes of internal RAM. This is a volatile memory since its contents will be lost if power is switched off. So these 128 byte of internal RAM are divided into 32 working registers, which in turn constitute four register banks, bank zero to bank three, with each bank consist of eight registers from R0 to R7. So there are 128 addressable bits in the internal RAM. Next unit is input output port. So the 8051 microcontroller has four 8-bit input output ports. That is P0, P1, P2 and P3. All these ports can be used as general purpose ports. In the presence of external memory, port 0 function as a multiplexed address and data bus and port 2 function as a higher order byte address bus. All port pins of port 3 are multifunctional. So therefore, each pin of port 3 can be programmed to use as input output or as one of the alternate function. Next unit is interrupt control. So it supports both an internal that means software and external means hardware interrupts. So in 8051, five sources of interrupts are provided. Next unit is timer. 8051 supports two multiple modes. 16-bit timers or counters. In timer mode, they can be used to generate a delay of particular 
and in counter mode they can be used to count external pulses next is serial port it provides a method of establishing serial communication by transmitting and receiving data bits it uses txt and rxt pins to transmit and receive respectively so txt pin is used to transmit the data and rxt pin is used to receive the data and the last unit is oscillator so it is used for providing the clock of clock to 8051 and decide baud rate for serial communication so all these about the block diagram of microcontrollers thank you